Ahoy, this is Ozdenka. When I see some idea, I just have to try it with my own flavor, with my own style. And this is what I was working on this week. Here is a final masterpiece. Product poster, the dramatic way. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Zdeň Kaderola. If you want to learn how to take better photos and videos with the latest gear and possibly participate in creative camera challenges like this one, consider subscribing. In today's video, let me show you step by step behind the scenes how this was photographed and also how it was edited in Photoshop. Step by step tutorial, very long video. First of all, Bailey's is not a sponsor of today's video. As we are at home, they don't actually don't even know me. As we are home, we wanted to order some nice treat and I was looking for a classic Bailey's but didn't have it because they don't have much these days. And this thing popped up. So we grabbed it and then when, when it arrived, I kind of thought, hmm, maybe we can try to use it to shoot this poster. And product poster is not the only thing which I will be making with this product. Next week, I will be filming a video commercial. So don't forget to subscribe for that. Splashes. I love working with liquid and splashes. I created lots of stock photos in the past. I feel comfortable with it and it's a lot of fun. So naturally, I wanted to create a very dramatic over the top image. And I actually Googled ads for this type of a product. And from what I saw, and I know they were going after the same kind of feel, the same tone, so pinkish, creamish, whitish photos. And I understand why they did that. I understand why they chose it, but it's not my style. I gotta say that I'm more going after bold kind of images, strong images, colorful. To me, these colors kind of remind me grandma's living room. So that's what I try to accomplish to do something very different. I like more contrast, edgier, stronger colors, I guess more European look, colorful, strong. Yeah, that's the word, strong. Looking at the bottle, I see pink, red, gold, brown tones. So I chose this brown background and I honestly wish I had a little bit darker one, but I'm going to work with whatever I have. First, I placed it on a table and I started placing some objects around, but then I realized that I may be dripping the liquid on a table, on a paper, so I went for the plexiglass, which actually looks better as it created a reflection. And I knew that I would have to do some cleaning in Photoshop because this is not a new glass. It's got a lot of scratches. So my plan was to take the photo of this whole stage setup and then take photos of falling strawberries and falling chocolates. I didn't have to take photos of milk splashes because I took many of those in the past and then take everything and digitally compose it in Photoshop. My main light was the uh, continuous ring light I didn't want to work with flashes because of my eye and I also wanted to have a clear visual because those falling strawberries and chocolates were shot in a burst mode. I placed the ring light from the top pointing straight down. I was also using two more lights, this Falcon Eyes F7 LED light and We Light LED light. As I was placing them on a table, one of them accidentally fell down and it was a pretty good accident because look at how it shines below the bottle. And at that moment, I thought I'm gonna actually use the gold color or more warmer gold, almost brown tone. I was also going to use flashlight because it was creating this awesome spotlight on a bottle, but I had trouble with it. I took it apart and it never worked again. So I was stuck with the uh, smartphone flashlight, which was okay. I had to kind of work with it. Simply put, don't ever lend me a flashlight because there is no guarantee and I'm gonna return it back to you in one piece. The camera I was using to take the basic shot was Canon 5D Mark III with telephoto lens 70 to 200 millimeters. Once I had pretty much everything in place, I just added chocolate ice cream and vanilla ice cream, strawberries and, and chocolate. Let me just say, the smell in the studio was 
unbearable. I was playing a bit with the aperture as I wanted the bottle sharp, possibly the first right ice cream as well, but the rest I wanted out of focus. So I did few variations, f4.0, 4.5, 5.0. I took many photos of different light positions as well, so I can choose few which will work. I am not a planner. I always create on a spot. I do have some sort of visual in my head, so I kind of start with that. Milk splashes I already had on my computer. I took many of those in the past. I didn't have chocolate falling shots and strawberries falling shots. For those shots, I used Canon M6 Mark II as it takes really fast continuous shots in sports mode. I had the same lens, 70 to 200 millimeters with the Veltrox speed booster. I had my assistants to drop the chocolates and strawberries and I was actually throwing them in the air myself as well as they were too heavy. Um, and they were going down way too fast. You know, they sell these huge strawberries now. You cannot buy regular small size strawberries. I didn't want to waste too much time, so I just had it on automatic sports mode, only lowered the brightness a little bit. I focused manually though with the lens. And now that I had all the pieces of the puzzle photographed, it was time to import it to Photoshop and actually finish the final puzzle by composing the shot. First thing I did was editing the main base image in Adobe Lightroom. I made it brighter, more contrasty, and changed the colors a bit to get the color complement each other in the image. Once I was done, I saved the image in TIFF and opened it in Photoshop. I also imported an image with all my milk splashes. I already have it cropped out. I had them saved as PSD file where all splashes are already layered to save a lot of time. I simply drag them all on the main image. And then just like puzzle pieces, I dragged each splash and resized it to position I wanted, erased parts I didn't want to be there, strawberries and chocolates were a little bit more work as I had to crop them out first. And then I also named all layers, so it was easier for me to find whenever I was looking for one of them. Next, I wanted to change those white milk splashes to match the color of the ice cream and also the Baileys. The way I changed the colors of splashes was this. I went to the image, adjustments, photo filter, warming filter, and I chose pinkish color and I left the strength at 85% roughly. Then I went to layer style, selected inner shadow, and again I chose pink color, selected strength 35%. Then I checked gradient overlay, made my own custom color, I did pink tones again, and I toned it down to strength about 32%. Once I had everything composed in place and colored, next step was make all splashes, strawberries and chocolates a bit blurry to go with the ice cream. I went to blur Gaussian blur and selected strength between 3 to 4.5. I did them all individually as I wanted to tweak them separately. And then I also brightened all chocolates and strawberries. For candles, I added flames. I added them as layers and then used overlay, I think lighten. I also added lens flare to them. I simply went to filter, render and lens flare. To bring more texture to the background and to those splashes, I just added overlays of some bokeh images and smoke. Last touches followed, I flattened the final image, cleaned up the splashes where it was connecting with the ice cream and did some contrast, darkened some areas and finally added more sharpness with texture tool in Lightroom. Done. It's time to announce the next creative camera challenge. By the way, submissions from last month will be reviewed in a video separately next week. So the challenge for the next round is find an object in your home it can be a box, it can be a final product, just a product which will be your main object for creating an ad. It doesn't have to be very complicated like I had, it doesn't have to be full of splashes and all that, 
but just nice lighting, just very colorful or just eye-catching, a poster ad would be quite nice. Deadline to submit your images is May 30th, 2020. And you can either upload them to ZD Camera Challenge Facebook group, the link is in the video description below, or also to your Instagram account and use hashtag ZDChallenge14. The most interesting final images or digital compositions will be reviewed in a month. Hit the thumbs up if you liked today's video and don't forget to subscribe to all future videos. If you have any questions, comments, simply want to say hi or ahoy, you know that you can always leave it in a comment section below and I'll see you. I'm looking forward to seeing your work in the next video. Ciao, ahoy.